Hello everyone, my name is John. Today, I will tell you how to set up data upload from the Salesforce CRM system to Copper. This is necessary to automatically transfer new leads from Salesforce CRM to other systems. For example, in Copper, create new contacts every time a lead is added to Salesforce CRM, it is convenient to store, process and interact with them in every possible way in the future. Now let's move on to the setup. First you need to create a new connection. Next, you need to select the Salesforce CRM data source system. Then you need to select an action, get new leads. At this stage, you need to connect your Salesforce CRM account to the Apex Drive service. In this window, you must enter the login and password from your Salesforce CRM account. Next, you should receive a verification code by mail, enter it in this field. When the connected account is displayed in the list, select it and click continue. In this case, there are no additional settings, so just click continue. At this stage, you can set up a data filter, in this case there is no need for this, so we also click continue. At this stage, you see test data for one of your leads in Salesforce CRM, if everything suits you, click next. This completes the setup of the Salesforce CRM data source, now you need to move on to setting up data ingestion. Choose Copper as the data receiving system. Next, you need to select an action, create contacts. At this stage, you need to connect your Copper account to the Apex Drive service. In this window, you need to specify the email address of your Copper account. And also specify the API key. In order to get it, you need to go to the Copper personal account. Go to Settings. Next, in the Integrations section, select API key. If you have not generated an API key before, click Generate API Key. Copy the API key and paste it into the appropriate field in the Apex Drive service. When all the required fields are filled, click Save. When the connected account is displayed in the list, select it and click Continue. At this stage, you need to fill in the fields with variables from Salesforce CRM that will be passed to Copper. To assign a variable, click on the field and select the variable from the drop-down list. Please note that you can not only add variables, but also enter values manually. When all the necessary data is assigned, click Continue. At this point, we see the test data that will be sent to Copper. In order to check the correctness of the settings, click Send Test Data to Copper. If everything suits you, we return to the Apex Drive service and continue the configuration. 
On this, the data reception setup has been successfully completed, now you need to enable auto update. Select the communication interval, for example, once every 5 minutes. That's all, I wish you successful integration settings and good luck.